everyone welcome back to our stylish Niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to stylish Niger youtube channel i thank you for your love for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have supported my youtube channel i actually don't take it for granted you guys really rock i celebrate all of my subscribers thank you so so much so if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed already what are you waiting for i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button seriously i would appreciate if you subscribe to my youtube channel and then hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video be on this side mm -hmm. <laughs> to, get, to actually get an update whenever i upload a new video that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell and if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of all of the classes we have presently available and then you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a doorman jumpsuit with a waist rope so you can actually see the picture showed to you earlier on on the thumbnail so that's actually what we are going to be learning how to cut and so today it is a simple project because this um, jump actually does not have any zipper even as a beginner you should be able you will after watching not should you will be able to pull it off okay so the measurement that i'm going to be making use of for this the hip measurement is i'm going to be making use of 50 inches why because if you see you see it is a very free jumpsuit and then the waist area also i'm going to be making use of the same 50 and then my measurement that's for the doll man because it is a cut together sleeve for my center back like this i'm going to measure 20 inches that's what i'm going to use for my sleeve so it starts from this center back up to this part so that's what i'll use for my sleeve and then the half body is 18 inches and then the full trouser is 45 inches and then for my crouch i'm making use of my hip measurement i'll divide it into four which is my hip is 40 i'll divide it into four so i'm not using the the hip of the of the jumpsuit because it is a free jumpsuit so i'll use my normal regular hip which is 40 divided into four i have 10 inches and then i'm going to add three inches to it so that will give me 13 so that 13 inches actually what i'm going to use from as my crouch measurement so these are all of my measurements so let's just get started straight into the tutorial I don't okay know if I so this is the fabric that i'm going to be making use of it is a crepe fabric so I'm going to, on this, like I said before, the shoulder to, that's the center back, across back measurement is 20 inches. That's from the center back to where I want my sleeve to be, is 20 inches. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut the back and the front together. So I'll just cut out the amount of uh, fabric that I want and then show you how to go with it. Let me just measure out. So I, this uh, fabric is about five yards of fabric. That's what I have here. Okay, so I have my fabric laid out, so I'm going to explain how much fabric I'm cutting out. So the top part is 18 inches, just like I told you earlier on. So I have about 20 inches here, which is okay. I just added extra 2 inches. And then the width, you know I'm using 20 inches for for my sleeve. So the down part, I don't want the down part, if the down part, I want it to be a little bit wider. So the down, so therefore, it seems the down part is the widest part of my fabric. So the down part, I'm using about 25 inches to fold my fabric. So now, what we're going to do, this is the front and then this is the back. Because if you notice, the front has a V neckline. So I'm going to use this to fold it in because I'm not adding a line to this jumpsuit. So this is the back. So we'll work with the back. So the first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to mark out the neckline for my back piece so the neckline that i'm using i'm using three inches i don't want i don't like it to be too wide so this is three inches and then on this part i'm just going to come down with about one inch so that's my one inch for the back for the back piece and then from this point so i hope you can see so i've marked out the neckline now which is my three inches. So the next thing I'm going to mark out now is the length, that's for my sleeve. So like I said, initially I'm making use of 20 inches. So this is my 20 inches right here. So I'm going to add about just about one inch to it for 
hemming so i have it right there and then from this part i'm just going to come down a little bit just come down by one inch i don't want to use two you can use two inch inches so i'll just um, float this into the neckline area and then from this part i'm going to mark my bust um line measurement so my bust and um, point line is 10 inches i don't want to mark this fabric too much so this is 10 inches on my bust point so my sleeve opening i don't want to use 10 inches if you notice the sleeve opening is almost open to the end so i'm going to use about 15 inches for my sleeve opening so this is 15 inches so what i'm going to stitch is just about three inches this is 15 inches for my sleeve opening so that's my sleeve opening that's from this point to this point is my sleeve opening so this is what i'm going to do from this point because i want the down part of my like i said i want the down part wide so you can see so i'll just mark it like this i'll just connect that part so this is where i'm going to stitch this point to this point is going to be open so i hope you can see what i'm trying to do so this part to this part is going to be open so this is where my top piece is going to get to so from this point i'm just going to so i'm just marking it straight so this is going to it's going to go like this you understand so i hope you understand what i'm trying to do i'll cut it out now so you can have a better look of it so i made the down part wider than the top so that's the down part so this is my sleep opening so this part i'm going to stitch this part because you know this part is going to have when you put the waist rope it's going to pull it together so i don't want to use 20 inches that i use for the top part so that it's not too tight so that is why i use 25 for the down part so i hope you understand what i just explained so the next thing now i'm going to cut out the back neckline so i've cut out the back neckline so for the front neckline like I said, I'm using a V-neck like so I just want to put like a guide here. And then from this part like this. So from this part like this, I'm just going to open this up like this. So you can see. So it depends on how open you want it to be, you understand? So if you want it to open very well, you can decide to just take out the whole of this. So it depends on what you want. For well, mine, I don't want the down part to be too open. So that is why I'm just using this and then taking about one inch from the down. You can take the same three inches here for the down part till the down part. So I'm not adding anything like that to this jumpsuit. So the next thing now, <clears throat> so this the, we're done with the dormant part. The next thing now, I'm just going to take this back to my machine and then go and finish up the neckline. So I'll finish up the neckline and then for this um, front piece, this neckline, I'm going to fold it. So I'm still going to trim this. I still need to trim it. So for this part, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I was thinking of using a hemming comb to, to secure it down. I really don't want stitches on it like that. After that, so it's going to stay like this. So you can see what we have. So this is how it's going to look like. So if I wanted it wide, I'll take the same width down and then I'll just go and finish up the neckline, put the back and the front, and then I'll bring it back and show you and join them on the shoulder. So after securing the neckline, so let me just show you. So this is what we're going to have. So you can see how wide it is. That's what I want. And then I'm going to go and do this. I'll secure them, stitch them on the shoulder together like this. So I hope you can see. So I join them on the shoulder, join them on the shoulder, and then join the side like this. I'll join this side. So this whole of this part is going to be open. So this part also, I'm going to finish up all this part also. I'll just hem them with a very clean stitch. 
So I'll hem them and then iron it down and then to teach here. So I'll do that and then come back to cut out the trouser. Okay, so I have finished uh, stitching my dress. That's the top part of my doorman jumpsuit. So at the end of the day, I just used facing for it. So what I did, I just cut out a straight fabric and then used it to turn it. You can see, I just stitched it here and then turn and then for the back. That's what I did. I decided not to use an hemming gum again because the fabric is very soft. Okay, so I finished that and then on this side, I've stitched the side of my body so you can see it. So at the end of the day, I have, you know, the down part we use, we actually use 25 for the down part. So now we're going to cut out our trouser now. So the trouser part. So the waist of the trouser I'm going to cut out is going to be that 25 so it fits in. So you need to put that into consideration. If you see, you can see it's looking so exaggerated. But at the end of the day, it's going to make sense. So I just want to fold my fabric for the trouser and then we'll cut out. Okay, so I folded my fabric. So I cut out the length of the trouser. is about 45, so I just made it 46. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the waist measurement. So in measuring the waist, I'll come to this side. I'm just coming by, I'm just coming by one inch, and then from this part, part, I'll measure my 25 inches for my the waist. Remember, I told you that I'm using 25, so this is my 25. I'm not adding any darts to this trouser, so this is my 25 here. So from this 25 point, I'm going to measure my hip and the hip line. So I'll use 10 inches for the hip. So that's 10 inches. And then I'll measure my crouch. So the crouch measurement, I'm using my, um, sorry, I'm using my hip measurement for the crouch. So I divide my hip measurement into four. And then I add it, because it is a jumpsuit, I'll add three inches to it. So in another class, I'm going to I'll teach you guys how to really and um, get a very really perfect crouch. So let's just leave that for another day. So I just added three inches to this to give since it is a jumpsuit to make it very free. So I'm making the crouch. The crouch is going to be 13 inches. So this is my 13. I really don't want to mark on my fabric too much because it is a white fabric. So you just bear with me. So from this point now, I'm going to come to this part to measure my crouch. So from this point, I'm just going to connect that waistline and connect it like this to form the crouch of my jumpsuit so you can see so I, I need to get the camera a little bit closer so you can see the crouch measurement so since i'm not adding any that from this point now i have my 25 inches here already so i came in just about one inch here and then the next thing this is my this is my tie line which is which for this, I'm going to use the same 25 inches. It's going to be a very free jumpsuit. Just you can see the picture. So for the tie, I'm going to just mark for the tie area. I'll just use 24 inches out so it will have a little bit of shape. So on the hip lines, which is this line, that's that the line which from the waist to hip that I use 10 inches. I'm going to use the same inches that I have for my tie. I'll use just use 24. So on this waist part, I'm just going to give it a little curve, just to curve into that tie line like this. It is a very free jumpsuit. So the next thing and measurement I'm going to measure now is my knee line. So the knee line I'm using about 21. You can always measure from your knee, from your waist to your knee. I'm using 21 inch inches. So the same thing that I have here, that 20. Four inches that I've been using that's just what I'm going to put that's what I'm going to use on this side also so I'm just trying to measure it I'll use the same 24 inches on this part like this okay so I'll go over that again so this is my tie line that's on your crouch line that's where you put your tie on your hip line that's where you put your hip uh, measurement which is from here to here so like I said, I'm using the same free measurement of 24 inches. So on this tie also, I'm using the same 24. And then from waist to my knee, I'm using 20 inches, um, 21 inches for the, the, the length. 
and then I'll come to this part. So this part, I'm just going to mark for my crouch line. I'll just mark this to this point. And then on this part also, I would make use of the 24 inches that I've been making use of. So I'm just going to curve it in like this. And then from that part, I'll take it to the down part of my trouser. That's, I'll just take it to the hem like that. And then I'll come to this part. I just want to check. Okay, so from this hem part, that's the down part. I'm going to use the same 24 that I've been making use of. So it's just like a free size from the top to the bottom. You understand? It's just like a free size. So from this part, I'm just going to connect this straight and then meet it up with my 24 inches. And then on this side, I'm using the same 24 inches and then it's only the waist part that is 25 inches so I hope you understand what I am trying to do so the next so the next thing that we're going to cut so you can see what we have so I'm so sorry if you can't see the chalk properly I am just so sorry so I'll cut okay so I finished cutting the front I finished cutting I'm going to place it on the back now and then show you how to go about the back. So we're going to cut out the back now. So you can see I've placed the front piece on the back. So this is just where we're going to be working on, on the crouch side. On the crouch side, I'm just going to come in by two inches. And then that two inches. I'll mark on this side also my two inches. So I'll just connect it like this. And then on this side, I'll come in by just about one inch. And then I'll just float it into the waistline area. So I hope you can see. I hope you can see it. And then this side, I'm going to cut every other part. I'm going to cut them the same. So it's only the crouch side that I did any um, disabled change. Okay, so you can see what we have here. So it's just this part that has the addition and then just a little bit. On this down part, all of them are the same. So that's it. So I'm going to take out the front piece. And so for the front piece, I'm going to add pockets to this jumpsuit for the front piece. So in adding that pocket, I'm just going to I'm going to come to those um, parts like this. So the next thing I just want to take this back to my machine and then i'm going to stitch so i'll go and join it on the crouch area as i'll join my front crouch and then i'll join my back crouch so after joining i'm going to fix them on my dress so i, I think let me just join it first and come back and then show you Okay, so you can see, so I finished stitching my trouser. That's the first part. So I joined them on the crouch area. So that's the front and then this is the, okay, that's the back. This is the front. So the next thing, I'm going to take them like this. I'll place them, make sure that they meet on the center part. And then I will go and stitch on the crouch area. So I'll join them on the crouch area to those down parts like this and then I'll stitch the side side also and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to fix it on the let's fix the top bodies to it okay so you can see so I finish um so I finished teaching so this is the back this is the top and then this is the front of this is my trouser so for the trouser part of my jumpsuit i'm just going to open the front crouch i'm just going to open it a little bit okay 
So the next thing, I'm going to start stitching from my front crotch here. I'll take the front of my, my center front and then I'm going to stitch it round. I'm just going to stitch it round. Why? I left it open because I want to create an elastic case. That's the case for the, the rope. So I'll just stitch it around like this to this other side. And then I'll bring it back and show you how we create out the case for the elastic. Okay, so I finished with fixing the top. That's I've joined the up part of my jumpsuit with the down part. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to create your casing for your for the rope. So this is the rope that I'm going to be making use of. So you can make use, you can sew a rope. This one they sell, they actually sell it at the fabric uh, where we buy tailoring things. They sell this rope here. Yeah. So two ways of doing this. So the first one, you can decide to cut a very long strap of fabric of about two or three inches. And then after joining the top part and the down part, you would open it up like this. So I hope you can see. So you open it up like this now. So this is the joining. And then you place this casing like this. And then you stitch it here and here all the way throughout the whole entire waist line as you secure it down that's one and then the second option is this option is good if you don't have allowance for your for your dress so but for this i have allowance so what i did i just did it like a double stitch so you can see what i did this is the first stitch that i made so i just added another extra stitch of about one inch so there by creating a space in between. So you can see just after stitching the first joining, just join another one again. And then you have a space in between. So it is this space that is in between. That is where, so you can see the space running. You can see it is an invisible one. It does not show on the outside. So all I'm just going to do now is to take my rope and then I'll pass it in like this through this part. I'll just pass it in pass it in and then bring it out from the other side so the next thing what is remaining now is just for me to fold the down of my jumpsuit and then fold the sleeve so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you the final look of this jumpsuit okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our doorman jumpsuit looks like it actually came out fine so if you find this video helpful Please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to Stylish Thank you so much.